in this lecture we will learn about right hand and left hand limit of a function let fx be a real valued function this is the picture where x0 be this and x lie between x0 and x0 plus delta this distance is delta this the value of l which is the right limit of the function fx this is l plus epsilon this l minus epsilon and this region fx lie and for all x not equal to x0 lie in this region so if we go from x0 delta to x in that location that is if x tends to x0 that from right to left then we say that limit x tends to x0 plus fx exists and equals to l okay that is if right to left limit x tends to x0 exists and this equals to l then we say that fx has right limit mathematically limit x tends to x0 plus fx that equals to l if for every epsilon greater than 0 there exist a number delta greater than 0 such that for all x x0 less than x less than x0 plus delta implies modulus fx minus l less than epsilon if this happened then we say that fx has right limit so in this picture if we go from x0 plus delta to x0 then we say that fx has right limit that is we say that x tends to x0 plus and what is the left limit left limit this is the x0 this is the x0 minus delta if we go from here to here that is x0 delta in this region x lie and fx lie between l minus epsilon to l plus epsilon if it goes from left to right x0 minus delta to x0 that is if it goes x tends to x0 minus that is this direction to dx direction and if the limit of fx be l then in this region then we say that the function has left limit mathematically we say that if limit x tends to x0 minus fx equals to l if for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists a number delta greater than 0 delta depend on epsilon such that for all x x0 minus delta to x less than x0 implies modulus fx minus l less than epsilon okay this is the picture and this is the mathematical definition in this case we say that the function fx has left limit now we give some example to illustrate this definition first example let fx is to root x limit x tends to 0 plus root x equals to this what what is the value of this this is x so this point is 0 so 0 and this 0 plus delta 0 plus so this 0 plus delta now we goes from here to here let 
if cell and greater than 0 be given here x 0 equals to 0 and l equals to 0 so we find a delta greater than 0 such that for all x 0 less than x less than delta modulus of root x minus 0 less than epsilon or 0 less than x less than delta implies root x less than epsilon that implies if you squaring both side we have x less than epsilon square if 0 less than x less than delta so if we choose delta equals to epsilon square we have 0 less than x less than delta equals to epsilon square implies root x less than epsilon okay that is 0 less than x less than epsilon square that implies modulus of root x minus 0 less than epsilon so therefore limit x tends to 0 plus root x that equals to 0 where delta equals to epsilon square let this is the new example at f x one 3 minus x x less than 2 and x by 2 plus 1 x greater than 2 this is the picture ok now find this limit x tends to 2 plus f x what is the 2 plus 2 plus that mean this region to this region ok from this to this and in that case this is the case 2 less than x so this x tends to 2 plus f x this is the value is 2 so that equals to 2 limit x tends to 2 minus f x this region to this and this is the exact case is this this x this 2 minus delta this less than x less than 2 okay this is the case so this is the function what is the function this is the function and the value of this equals to 3 minus 2 that equals to 1 so therefore limit x tends to 2 f x does not exist now limit x tends to 4 minus f x what is the 4 minus this is the 4 minus so this region to this region and function b this x by 2 plus 1 that equals to 3 limit x tends to 4 plus fx this region to this region and the function b x by 2 plus 1 so it equals to 3 therefore limit x tends to 4 fx that equals to 3 or the exist and equals to this next example b let fx common 3 minus x x less than 2 and 2 x equals to 2 or x by 2 x greater than 2 this is the picture now we find limit x tends to 2 plus fx what is the 2 plus this is the region 2 plus to 2 ok so this is the region 2 plus to 2 this is the delta 2 plus delta to 2 ok and this is the case this is the case so in that case function b x by 2 so what is the value value b1 and limit x tends to 2 minus fx this is the case from this side to this side left to right there so function b this 3 minus x and this is the case ok so in that case function b this so value is 3 minus 2 that equals to 1 therefore limit x tends to 2 fx exist and limit x tends to 2 fx that equals to 1 now find limit x tends to 1 minus fx 
so this is the one so this one minus means this region so case is this okay this is the function 3 minus x so limit x tends to 1 minus fx from that portion to that this is one so and this is the function so 3 minus 1 that equals to 2 and limit x tends to 1 plus fx what is the 1 plus fx so from this region to this region okay and in that region fx be this 3 minus x so that equals to 3 minus 1 that equals to 2 therefore limit x tends to 1 fx that equals to 2 if you like my video please share it and subscribe it thank you